Staying with tennis, the South African Davis Cup team, led by renowned doubles specialist Raven Klassen, was announced earlier this week and are scheduled to play Luxembourg next month. Luxembourg will host South Africa in a World Group 2 playoff tie on the 4th and the 5th of February. Klassen will lead a squad which includes emerging South African tennis stars Chris van Weyck, Alec Beckley and teenager Devin Badenhorst, all of whom will be making their debuts in the international team competition. Christopher Rensburg is the captain of the team. And joining us is Raven Klassen. A very good afternoon and welcome to Newsroom Africa. Uh, congratulations on the recent pairing up with Lloyd Harris at the Australian Open. Made it all the way to the third round. Is that what you were expecting? Yeah, th first of all, thanks for having me. Um, I don't know if that is what I was expecting, but Lloyd and I have played together in the past and uh, we kind of know each other's games. But, and we have fun on court. You know, I mean, he's, he's a, a very good tennis player and... Uh, I was hoping to kind of jump on his back and just ride the wave. So um, very happy with that result. I think um, potentially we could have gone further, but um, as, a, as our first tournament ever together, it was uh, really fun. So how many more tournaments and how many more Grand Slams are we going to see the two South Africans playing together? Well, I'm certainly hoping that, uh, that we can play a few more. Um, it will have to be soon because uh, as, uh, as I'm getting older, my opportunities are getting fewer. But um, no, Lloyd seems to have fun and, and we combined well. And I'd, I'd hope to, to spend some more time on court with him this year. Uh, we've spoken about it for the last few years and this is finally uh, an opportunity for us to make it work. And uh, seemingly it works well. So Wimbledon recently announced that they're going to be changing their format in the doubles competition to match the other Grand Slams. Uh, instead of five sets, it'll be just three sets. Uh, what did you make of that news? Yeah, um, for, for a guy who's playing only doubles, the five sets was unique and, and, and sort of made it special to play there. But I understand the move. If you want to entice more singles guys to play the doubles draw, you, you'd have to take the workload off. At the moment, if you play five sets in singles on a Tuesday, potentially four to five hours, turning around on Wednesday to do the same thing in doubles and then have to prepare for another singles match does seem to wear the guys out. So I think if the tournament's goal is to include more of the singles players into the doubles draw, they're probably onto something good here. And, and like I said, it will sort of lessen time on court, which is always good for, for the players' bodies. Well, it's certainly exciting for South African fans to see you guys playing together. Let's speak now about uh, the Davis Cup tie. It's an important one. Lloyd Harris unavailable, along with Akulu Monsi. I suppose it puts a lot of pressure on the young team that's actually been selected. Yeah, um, you know, unfortunately we, we without those two guys, but we've got to go with the guys that we have, you know, and uh, South Africa is now in a, in a transition stage where we're trying to get new players on board and get them exposure and experience, you know, and, and uh, Chris and Alec have been out on tour um, grinding and playing futures and doing quite well at that level, so it'd be nice to see what happens at the next level when we give them an opportunity in Davis Cup and and Devin is one of our rising stars in South Africa, you know. So I remember when I had my first opportunity to play Davis Cup, very exciting time. And it sort of also gives you a measuring stick of, of, of where you want to go and where you are currently, you know. So I'm, I'm very excited to see what these three guys have in store. The last time you played against this nation, you guys easily beat them. But that was here at home, also with a different uh, team. This time you guys are going to the indoor courts where they're so comfortable and also with a young and inexperienced side. But it's an important tie because this is for survival in World Group 2. Yes, it certainly is. You know, um, we're we, we hanging on here um, to try to stay in this, in this group because if you go down to the next group, you actually end up playing in like a group event where multiple teams play against each other. So this is a, a key tie for us, one that we really have to focus hard on. And with it being a, a weight tie, they'd have a little bit of an advantage there. But one fortunate thing for us is that we're playing on a surface and indoors which should suit South African uh, tennis, you know, so we'll, we should be able to, uh, to adapt just fine to that and, um, and hopefully that is something that can and work in our favour and, and help us get a win. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do know about the conditions? Because on paper, uh, it's indoors. We know that South African players are, uh, were brought up on, on outdoor conditions. Yeah, uh, so, so generally the only thing that changes is that you don't have to deal with sun and you don't have to deal with wind which means that effectively it's almost easier to play clean tennis, you know. So um, when you're outside, what changes is that, that you've got variables of ball moving, um, sun in your eyes, you don't have those things indoors. So effectively players tend to find it a, a quite comfortable inside to play tennis. Um, I don't know what the speed of the court will be because there you, you have a lot of variances in the, in the speed of court. It could be from very slow to very fast. We'll have to see when we get there what they, what they put out there for us. But... Um, yeah, generally everybody enjoys to play indoors unless you really like to play on, on a slow style of tennis and, and sort of counter-punching style. Do you believe that South Africa will be successful in this time? 
Oh yes, I have full faith in our team, and we're going to prep as as well as we can to be ready because, um, you know, as you said earlier, this this tie is going to be key for us in in where we go in the next few years in Davis Cup. Raven, uh, before I let you go, because you've uh, seen him up close and uh, watched it, just exactly how good he currently is, do you think anyone can beat Novak Djokovic? Oof, that, that's, a, that's a tough one. I mean, it, it's, it's hard to imagine someone playing that well. You know, if, if, um, if he's at his best, he's about as good as I've ever seen. You know, it, it's, um, I think it's Novak's tournament to lose. If, if, he's, if he stays healthy, if that leg holds out his hamstring, then it's, it's really going to be tough to, tough to bet against him. But, you know, tennis, stranger things have happened. And if he comes in and, and someone can play a free match against him. But as of now, I would, I would put my money on Novak. Raven, it's been wonderful chatting to you. Thank you very much. All the best of luck to you and the South African Davis Cup team. It's a really important tie against Luxembourg on the 4th and 5th of February.